Today we're taking a look at what are my favorite uh, assault rifles in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, all right? Now, this is gonna be an unscripted discussion. I just thought, you know, this would be a fun idea. One of you guys asked me, like, what are your favorite assault rifles? So, you know what? I mean, well, not one of you guys. I, I've been asked that many times, and I've probably responded in the comments with something very similar to what I'm about to say in this video. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go through the, my, my top five, and then we'll obviously do a, a few honorable mentions, but that's really loud. All right, we're back, man. I don't know. Should I just restart? All right, let's let's restart this properly. All right, as you can see, it's going to be quite a chill video. So we're let's let's restart, okay? Today we're taking a look at what are my favorite assault rifles in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. We're actually going to be talking about my top five, okay? I've narrowed it down. It's super hard. Uh, it's real hard, actually, to, to pick a top five. But, I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. Now that the weapon mastery upgrades are out, and I've said this before, probably, um, every gun is a viable option now. Every gun should be something that you should give a shot, uh, give, give a shot playing with. Um, because they're all great now, man. Um, those weapon master upgrades really just just made every gun fun. Um, you might disagree uh, for certain ones, sure, sir. There's probably a few guns that I still won't touch. Like for me personally, I won't touch those those outcast assault rifles, those like fake guns, whatever the hell they use, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, w I won't touch those. Um, and and then there's another gun too that's probably a favorite amongst a lot of you guys. The uh, the uh, the Coblin, um, the gun that I can't try because I refuse to play raids in, in Ghost Recon. Let's get right into it. All right, enough chit chat at the start here. Let's get right into it. So first one, I mean, as if you guys wouldn't already know, this is gonna come out of my mouth. But the M4A1. All right, classic M4A1. The M4A1 is a staple, and in fact, most most of you guys probably won't won't play without it. So a lot of you guys have it equipped already. Um, the M4A1, guys. Do I need to really say how how much I love it? It's stupidly high fire rates. Highly accurate. This thing is a CQC monster, as well as even a medium engagement tool, man. Because you can get some great engagements with the M4A1. And you know what, guys? Because of that high fire rate, it ends up being such a good time to dump dudes again in those close quarter in, in, in environments, or right? in those close quarter uh, little skirmishes you get into. The M4A1 will always have your back. If you need to figure out what is one weapon, if I needed to ignore every other weapon in the game, and there was one weapon that I would just spend all my time with, all right? The M <clears throat> fucking choking on my words here. The M4A1 would be the one, all right? It would be the one, and that's a sign I need to sip my coffee, so one sec. All right, perfect, man. Okay, cool, so the M4A1, we got that one out of the way. What's my next one? Um, and by the way, guys, these aren't in any order, but the M4A1 first, and my next one is gonna be the ACR, baby. Okay, the ACR is a solid rifle. It sounds beefy as hell. Um, it, this thing has a pretty decent fire rate. And you know, I did the ACR versus ACR assault. Um, so it's really up to you which one you wanna lean into. Sure, you're gonna get that one bullet increased damage with the ACR assault. Um, but the ACR, um, in my opinion, uh, looks visually better. Um, I end up a lot of the times just using the regular ACR. And as I've stated, guys, with those weapon mastery upgrades, all these guns end up being great. So I mean, like, you're gonna be fine. I know you guys are gonna be fine even with the standard ACR. Like, we can do those comparisons. We can see which assault rifles from certain families, like, are better than the other. Like, sometimes you can look at the 416 family and, you know, you might prefer this one or that one. But I mean, once you once you apply those weapon mastery upgrades and you really beef these fucking stats up, uh, you're looking at some real fun guns and you're gonna have a real fun time regardless, all right, man? So these are my favorites. Not to say that these are the best, not to say that these are the most powerful, not to say that these are the right choices. There is no right and wrong here. Um, I'm just sharing what my top five favorite are and I will do a few honorable, honorable mentions because I've covered a lot of these weapons in the weapon loadout videos that I've done. Um, so I don't wanna go through like stats and get into all the little specifics again this is very chill all right this is a very chill kind of thing we're doing here today all right and uh so yeah the next one the acr man we got the m4a1 and the acr both grunt both guns great both look visually stunning i would say the acr is more built for those medium to longer range um, assault kind of scenarios you get yourself into when you need to get some fucking firepower on your fucking side man and you need to hit dudes you know that that acr or that acr assault variant whichever one you want to dip into uh will will have your back all right so we got the m4a1 and the acr now we're gonna go to number three and this one is probably my favorite, my number one favorite gun in Breakpoint, my number one favorite ACR in Breakpoint, okay? And uh, surprisingly enough, it's not the ACR. If I was 
if someone did put one of these, one, if someone took one of these assault rifles, put them to my head, and they said, pick, pick one of us, you can only pick one of these assault rifles, then I would have to give it to the 416, all right? It's a versatile rifle. It works in so many different ways. But again, guys, again, you're not, it's not to say you won't have those exact same results, if not better results, by using other guns. I completely get that. Um, again, these are my personal opinions, my personal takes here, okay? And then the next weapon too, which I'm gonna bring up now before I do discuss the 416 a little bit more, um, it's the 516, all right? And the 516 and the 416, to me, are just two very good weapons that you can kind of bounce between. Um, I probably stated this before in one of the spotlights, the 516 is a lot more snappier than the 416, whereas the 416 feels a lot more heavier in how it delivers those bullets, all right? So really, you're gonna get some great results with either the 416 or the 516, all right? And then, so now we have four weapons. I've discussed my top four so far. We got M4A1, we got the ACR, we got the 416 and the 516. And uh, what's my what's my last one, man? Another another numbered gun? <laughs> yeah, man, it is the MK17, the Scar, baby. Use it in Gra, Gra 2. It's a staple gun. You've seen it in most shooters you play. Everyone loves the Scar. Everyone loves that MK17. In Breakpoint, though, um, it was so close to not making that top five, guys. All right, it was so close. But because of my love for the Scar. Uh, has no bounds and it's just a gun that I've always appreciated in every shooter that I've played especially the older GR games man GR2 all these fucking games uh, it had to make the list, all right, because it, it means a lot to me, the MK-17, all right? It's got so many memories with that gun, um, but the, uh, an honorable mention, guys, and one that I've already stated was in my top five, and, and if I could make the number five, just squeeze in one more, if I could squeeze in just one more gun in there for this top five list, it would be the 4AC, and in fact, I'd actually even swap out the M4A1 with the 4AC, but again, I didn't because um, despite me actually liking the 4AC a lot, a little bit more than the m 4A1 um, because they're very similar. If you had to compare the M4A1 to any other gun, it would be the 4AC. The thing is, though, guys, the reason why the 4AC kind of got pushed down a bit is one, because again, that scar is important to me, and two, um, it's not a real gun, guys, all right? And I really do like the, the idea of using something that's more real as opposed to something that's fake. So, I mean, that's why we got the M4A1, the ACR, the 416, the 516, and the MK17, all right? So uh, the 4AC should actually be in my top three because I'm pretty sure I've responded in comments to you guys before saying, yo man, the, <laughs> the 4AC is top three for me probably. And, I, and another honorable mention guys is the, uh, is the K1A, all right? Because again, the, the K1A, sorry, I just saw something out the window there. The, the K1A is such a solid burst fire tool, guys. And then another honorable mention I gotta say too is the 553, all right? And it would be the 4AC in that number one slot without the M4A1, but I know it's the M4A1, man. I can't, I can't knock the M4A1. The M4A1 is a solid, 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 real gun. And the, and the 4AC is a stupidly fun, amazing, incredible, overpowered gun, but it's not a real gun. So it kind of just doesn't make that list for me, guys. So, I mean, that's kind of where I sit. Um, but yeah, man, some honorable mentions again, the 4AC, the K1A, another stupidly amazing gun that I love to death. We've done it, and I hope you guys did enjoy the video, all right? This is very, again, very relaxed. I'm still sipping my coffee here. I feel like I just sat down, we're already done, man. But anyways, that's the beauty of it, man. I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? And I uh, hope you guys have a great day, whoever made it to the end, and uh, cheers, guys, all right? Thank you. Ciao.